incredible strength of the human spirit. Pushing boundaries, unlocking our limits, elevating our strength. It is the story of grit, determination, perseverance and triumph. Running is a bond that binds us together. We at TCS believe in enhancing the human potential through technology. Running is our way of celebrating human achievements. We run on belief, so do you. TCS World 10 Ki Bengaluru, 15th May 2022. Hello and welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you joining us from all around the world. The most awaited sporting spectacle is back after a break. Yes, you guessed it. Race day is just hours away. The TCS World 10K Marathon is happening Sunday, May 15 in Namma, Bengaluru. We are very excited. How excited are you? Is the 13th edition of TCS World 10K Bengaluru a competitive race of elite athletes across all ages and abilities. This year is special to us because we are returning after 28 months. The past couple of years have been a challenge that we face together. We've come out of the pandemic more resilient, thanks to the human spirit. And what better way to celebrate that than with the World 10K? We at TCS are proud to be associated with the race that is a celebration of the incredible strength of the human spirit. At 5 a.m. on Sunday morning, more than 15,000 runners are expected to begin their race. And before they do, we bring you an exclusive sneak peek into the event. I'm your host, Priyanka Sahu, and we have an exciting show lined up for you today with a detailed ground report and stories of strength from runners. This year, for the first time, TCS World 10K Bengaluru will be conducted in two formats an on-ground and a virtual app-based run. Here to tell us more about TCS's vision for long-distance running is Michelle Taylor. She's the head global sports and sponsorships at TCS. Welcome to the show, Michelle. What is TCS's relationship with long-distance running and sponsoring such events? What makes the Bengaluru 10K an important part of the global race calendar? TCS truly believes in the power of sport to unite people globally. And particularly through promoting and supporting endurance running events, we sponsor over 10 endurance running events, running events around the globe, and they really help build community, promote wellness, and also support a lot of local charities. The TCS World 10K Bangalore is a especially special to us in that we've been a partner since 2011. Um, we're so glad that it's back after a two-year hiatus and are so excited uh, for the event this weekend. Absolutely, Michelle. Uh, what are your thoughts on distance running once again coming alive after a two-year gap? It's absolutely thrilling to be back after a two-year break um, to live racing. It means so much to the running community to really be able to gather in person. But we've also seen this opportunity um, to create a hybrid experience, really engaging runners from around the world um, through the TCS World 10K Bengaluru app, allowing them to participate, participate virtually, um, while also supporting runners um, getting together, obviously in person this weekend. So we're thrilled and can't wait. Sure, Michelle. I mean, since you mentioned, uh, you know, uh, technology, what is the correlation between technology, TCS and running? And how is it transformative? TCS really has a special relationship with running, right? That the journey of a runner really parallels so much of the journey we take with our clients um, on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of transforming their businesses. And we 
are in running oftentimes transforming our bodies to do things that we never even imagined was possible. So for us, these sponsorships are really about a shared belief in community, wellness, charity, and um, we, we really are just thrilled to, to continue to build on this belief together. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, thank you for putting it in context and helping us understand uh, our vision for the uh, World 10K race. Uh, now, if you're wondering how to participate in this iconic event, we've got you covered. Our reporter, Kimberly Solomon, is on the ground tracking all exciting developments. Here's our take on five things you need to know about TCS World 10K. Over to you, Kimberly. It is finally over. Nama Bengaluru is all set to host the TCS World 10K for the 11th edition. Geared up are participants from across the country as they participate in the iconic Kanthira Stadium. Here are five things that you should know about the Tata Consultancy's World 10K. Training champions Mukta Radris as well as Helen Obri are the star performers who will be present at the start line of the 10K. This edition of the Indian Elite lineup consists of a healthy mix of veterans as well as young sensations from across the country. I'm going to be tracking them on the TCS World 10K app and I hope you do too. In case you're wondering how I got teleported here, it's because I'm here to participate in Sprint to Win, an immersive technology powered by TCS. And in case you cannot participate here physically, you can always download the official TCS World 10K Bengaluru app, which enables you to go to live tracking, track your loved ones, as well as participate with elite champions, all at the comfort of your home. Facing the Open 10K runners at the 2022 edition are 17 seasoned women as pacers. You will be able to identify a pacer with the help of the flag that they are carrying. Don't forget to catch them all. The Pasta Cookout is an event that honors the timeless tradition of carb loading right before race day. It's an opportunity not only for athletes to participate and eat in a carb-enriched diet, but also for me to enjoy tasty pasta without my trainer even knowing. The stadium is brimming with energy and I cannot wait for the marathon tomorrow. What holds for it is something that I'm looking forward to see. The weather is unmissable and if this pleasant weather continues, I think I'm going to have to ask for a transfer. Uh, this is Kimberly signing out from the Kanthira Stadium. Thank you. Wow, Kimberly, thank you. Thank you for that uh, on-ground report. Download the World 10K Bengaluru app now and participate from the comfort of your homes. And as we said, we have our eyes and our ears on the ground. Our reporter, Avik Das, caught up with E.S. Chakravarti, who's the Vice President and Global Head for Resource Management Group at ECS. He's at the Kandirva Stadium. Over to you, Avik. Hello and uh, welcome to the Kantirva Stadium, which is hosting the TCS 10K over the weekend. Uh, we have with us Mr. Uh, E.S. Chakravarti, who's the global, the vice president and the global head for resource management group at TCS. Mr. Chakravarti, welcome to the Kantirva Stadium. Eric, thank you. Do you already feel the buzz out here? Absolutely. It's great to see a lot of youngsters and kids coming out, especially after the most challenging years of our lives and uh, getting ready for this great event of uh, TCS World 10K. And this is nothing like a festival coming back again for TCS and also Bengaluru. The TCS marathon, the TCS, not the marathon, but the 10K is back after two years. What do you think would be the impact and the message that you feel comes out of this event? I think, as I said, uh, it's a festival coming back to Bangalore where a lot of guys come together and they show the spirit of uh, running, spirit of health and fitness, and uh, spirit of uh, leading a healthy life. And that is something which I think carries a lot of message, especially the kind of scenarios we have seen during COVID. And this is an extension of those messages, what we have been talking for the last two years. So I look forward for one of the most energizing and enthusiastic participation for thousands of people of TCSers and TCS Bangalore and Bangalore. Okay. What could be the main impact of this, of this race after two years in the hiatus? 
Okay. If you look at it, we are talking about this building on belief. Okay, let me talk about it. Whenever we conduct these marathons and various events, people participating in those events, every step they do, every mile they do, it creates a confidence that nothing is impossible. Finishing a marathon for the gentleman or woman who is participating in it gives a tremendous amount of confidence that nothing is impossible. And that is the beauty of building on the belief that anything we can do. That exactly correlates with the kind of work we do in TCS and also the kind of runs and marathons we conduct as title sponsors and uh, behind those events. Okay, you talked about you know, the brand motto of building on belief. How do you think TCS actually boosts its brand value through these partnerships with marathons? See, some of these events, for me personally, the main takeaway is contributing back to the community and society we belong to. So what we do to these events? Let's take an example, this particular uh, event. So we are contributing back to the city of Bangalore that we belong to by bringing the citizens and making them feel the importance of being healthy and going after healthy lifestyle, right? That is giving the spirit to them, right? And that is a great contribution that we do. And I simply say, whenever you do something good in the society and community you belong to, you create a brand. And most of the customer meetings, when we go and speak to them, hey, how is uh, Bangalore TCS? What is it, you know, World 10K? So it's a kind of a connection point between we and our customers. Not only with our customers, any partners we work with, any individuals we meet, they always talk about this particular event. I feel that that is a simple demonstration of creating our brand and enhancing the brand. Society speaks about us and what we do for them. Why do you think customers are so interested when they talk about about this uh, race all, all the more? Like, what is the relevance of this? Yeah. See, we always had a belief in TCS, which I also learned from uh, many leaders, of course, our role model, who brought this concept into TCS, Chandra sir, right? And uh, whenever he spoke, he always used to talk about technology and running fall hand in hand. Technology brings a lot of transformation to our customers and their businesses. And running marathons brings transformation to us, our TCSers, our customers, and citizens at large, right? Okay. So I think that is what I think which is very, very, what is it, you know, important. As a technology organization, we believe in these marathons and run that can transform the lives of individuals. And uh, in most of the marathons, we see close to 5,000 to 6,000 customers coming and participating in these kind of events. Okay. Why can't we call it as a phenomenal engagement platform? Wonderful. So these are some of the things I think uh, we need to talk about for your, for your, as a response to your question. Mr. Chandrasekharan is known as an avid marathoner. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit cloudy out here in Bangalore, but uh, you know you never know. Do you think that clouds can play the spoil sport over the weekend? Everything good that we do, nature supports us. And that is the way we have to believe in. And Sunday, I am looking forward for a very decent weather. And Bangalore always, you know, blesses uh, good events happening around. So I wish you all the very best. I'm sure we are going to rock on that day. Are you looking to run? Of course, I'm going to participate in Mazaran. And I would like to see our fellow TCSers and leaders. And of course, the citizens of Nama Bengaluru. It's a very interesting thing to participate. And we'll do it. Thank you so much, Mr. Chakravarti. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. Thanks to all of you for putting together a wonderful show as of today. And a lot has to happen in the next two days. I wish you all the very best for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chakravarti and Avik for giving us a peek into the energy and the buzz at Kantirva Stadium. It's indeed a festival and not just for in, uh, those in Bengaluru, but for all of us around the world. Now, we also have the depend defending champions of TCS World 10K. Kimberly is with Helen Ubiri and Paul Tanui from Kenya. And we couldn't let go of them without uh, sharing with us some trade secrets of completing and competing in marathon. Kimberly, over to you. Hi, everyone. We're here with Helen Ovi, our reigning champion, who's going to be participating at the TCS World 10K. Hi, Ovi. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Um, how is your trip so far? My trip is good, but because my first time to be here in India, so I'm very, very happy with coming here to compete. That's lovely. And um, I hope the weather is treating you well. Yeah, the weather is well. It's like Kenya, so we enjoy. And how excited are you to be participating in the Indian race? 
you know, let me say like a couple of years we have missed racing because of COVID-19. But we are glad we are coming here to race because we so the other time COVID disrupted everything. But there is a whole percent of the channel. That's why we are here and to participate and to run well. That's lovely. Um, what is a typical day in the life of an athlete like for you? I think sometimes when you like an athlete face a lot of challenges, face a lot of injuries, face a lot of training, maybe you train hard, there's nowhere you can go. Sometimes you can train, there's no race, that's a difficult time because you keep on training but there's no hope in future. But we keep on training because it's a difficult moment for us. Maybe there's injuries, they shut you from training. So that's when I can say it's a difficult moment for any athlete in the world. And what are some of the tips you'd like to uh, give young athletes or first-time runners uh, while they participate in not only in tomorrow's race but as well as uh, in the future? What I can tell the upcoming athletes or young talent athletes, never to lose hope because okay. if you lose hope, you cannot go nowhere yeah. because sometimes you can train, you can't go nowhere. But let's keep training because training is part of health and it's part of our lifestyle. So keep on to your goals and set your goals. I want to achieve something because like me, I didn't start where I am today. This has stayed by the time. We are like children. When you're born, maybe you can't not just walk in there. So don't do so whatever you are doing. Just focus and set a target. Maybe like end of this year, I want to do something like this, like this. So you can just focus. That's lovely. And um, for, for, I mean, I've always been very interested and I've always watched either marathons or road races, but I've never had the will to participate in it. Do you have any motivating words for people like me? Yes, just what I can tell you maybe. You can just start. Anybody can run. It depends what time you're going to run. You can't run with me because I'm a professional athlete. But if you can start running, maybe you can finish well and it's your health. Maybe it can help you to maintain your good health. It's never too late to run in that case, then. There's never too late in sports. You can just run with NH. <laughs> yeah. Lovely to speak to you, Helen. I'm so glad to have met you. And good luck for tomorrow's race. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We have Paul Tanui with us, one of our world champions who were also participating in the race. Hi, Paul. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. And how was your trip so far? Pardon? How was your trip to India so far? Yeah, so far you can say my trip is going on well. Is this your first time in India? It's my second time. It's your second time, so yeah. that's interesting. A new different place to visit. Yeah. And um, how excited are you for tomorrow's marathon? I can, what I can say is that uh, I'm very happy to be, to participate again. I can say it's my first race uh, after the pandemic. Okay. And uh, I'm really excited to race again. That's lovely to hear. And what inspires you to run? Uh, what I can say is that uh, since I was a young kid back there at home, I used to love seeing people running. I used to love running like when I'm doing something, doing something I run. And uh, when I saw people running on TV, I was much confident that even me I can run one day. That's lovely. And what age did you start running? What age did you start running? I started running while I was, I think, 17 years old. 17? Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's very nice. Yeah. So what is the life uh, of an athlete? Uh, what does a typical day look like for you? I think the typical thing in, let's say, in this uh, running life is maybe when you get injured and when you have some pain. Mm -hmm. Is the lowest moment because you cannot do the thing you have been loving doing it. Mm -hmm. And uh, all in all, I'm happy that uh, we can compete again. So, we have a lot of first time runners, we have a lot of young runners um, who are also 17. When they start, you start, you were 17. We have people who are running who are 12, 15. Um, what, is, what motivating words can you, you know, share with them, or how would you want to encourage them? What I can tell them is that do what you love mm -hmm. and what your heart loves to do. If it is running, run with confidence, believe in yourself and believe that you can do it because what you love the most is what you can achieve the most in your life. So what I can tell them, 
when they feel running is what they can do in life and running is what they love in their life let them be confident and believe in themselves that's so lovely to hear paul i'm thank so you. excited to see you tomorrow at the race thank you good so luck much. thank you and uh, i hope you have a wonderful time in india thank you i hope so thank you everyone. thank you thank you kimberly for that beautiful report love what you do indeed and if you're not inspired enough by our uh, uh, defending champions i'm sorry uh, we have a special guest for you one of our brilliant pacers bindu juneja stopped by for a ch- quick chat with us we have today a very special guest with us uh, bindu juneja she is an ultra runner she is a teacher and she is also a pacer and here to talk with us at length about what she does and you know why she became a pacer bindu welcome to the show thank you so much thank you so much for having me there yeah so uh, bindu when did you start running you're a teacher and you know when did that happen yeah 2000 back in 2015 i started running uh, you know um, it's been almost uh, uh, 6.5 you know uh, yeah i've been running and, for and six and a half years so how did that happen like did, did you one day just decide to start running or were you inspired by somebody how did that happen no like uh, uh, so uh, basically you all know i'm a teacher so uh, we had uh, you know uh, kind of every year like you know uh, annual road run so just 2 kilometers and then I, i thought i'll just give it a try so when i ran i you know i really did well and i i got a podium and i was like oh, not bad like you know so that's where it all started like you know wow i mean that that's fascinating and and you just fell in love with running and you know started uh, doing marathons how did you become an ultra runner i mean that's something you take uh, pride of so just tell us about that journey as well yeah it, it was just uh, initially it was just like you know uh, running 2 kilometers and seeing like you know i i used to just feel that wow not bad i can do that okay so then after that the next step is say like for me uh, uh, next next distance what is it okay 5 km then i went up to 10 then at that you know i i probably you can say call me a greedy person or something like that it just greed to run the distance it was like too much in me like you know then i tried uh, next so as soon as i finished 21k i was like a next 42k and there were so many people told me that you can't do it because you are uh, you know full time uh, working women and you know uh, you also have you know children at home you cannot balance running and you know um, you know what you say a competitive running basically they were telling me you know and i was into competitive running wherever whatever i did like you know i ended up with the podium so uh, with uh, and i train alone like i don't have a uh, godfather or uh, uh, what do you say a uh, coach so i do it all myself so uh, so it was for me it was to see how far i can go you know what is my strength you know and, and um, i always felt that you know um, i don't have have that kind of strength you know i'm weak you know so this was something that you know i used to feel that sense of accomplishment once i finished the running you know so after 42 then i took up 50 then i went to 80 then i went to uh, you know uh, i ran 24 hours you know 24 hours uh, you know the distance what i clocked was uh, 176.6 kilometers and uh, wow. what i take pride in uh, is my 500 mile run yeah 500 run uh, you know mile run that was 805 kilometers i ran in 16 days that means on an average of 50 km every single day i ran you know for uh, you know 16 days so so that's something that that's without any support in any support i didn't even have a hydration support at that point of time so i i, I really cool. feel you know there is all of my strength so i mean uh, from your journey what i understand is you set you know smaller goals and then you challenged yourself to a larger goal and then you know did did that help did that strategy of setting smaller goals help you in in becoming what you are now yeah yeah of course yeah yeah it it is you know uh, i always say even when i teach i tell my students you know go step by step you know take one step at a time you know so that's what i teach you know so yeah we should have goals but it should be realistic you know it should have uh, some meaning you know 
uh, that's what i always tell <laughs> absolutely so for for all our viewers uh, she's also a pacer now so for, for viewers here pacers are people who you know who uh, give up their you know doing best in the race and helping others so uh, bindu how long have you been a pacer and and why did you become a pacer in the first place all right uh, so i just want to be very honest here so i just don't want to say anything like you know i just want to uh, you know what you say uh, giving back to the society and i don't want to do all those things i'm just going to tell you the truth 2000 uh, no you know i i first i paced for i i only paced for tc years okay so i paced for my first because i love racing okay so uh, pacing is something that you know uh for me it's very difficult okay so uh 2018 i got a, an opportunity to pace tcs world 10k in bangalore so uh, the first thought was like just wanted to know i just wanted to see and feel how how is how is all this pacing all about like i just wanted to know so that's how i started and uh that was a good feel so once i finished you know i still remember 2018 after finishing that you know i still remember a lot of people coming and uh, they were telling that you know we could achieve you know uh, that uh, i was a 60 minute pacer at that time so they said you know we we are so happy that you know we could achieve that goal because of you that i just that moment i just really felt i said oh my god this is better than the, than the podium like you know i just really felt that you know i said wow. it's better than podium so that is one reason the second reason 2018 somewhere like you know i was going through a very rough time you know wherein i was finding it so difficult to uh, balance my family life and uh, running and uh, work full time work so that time now i, I was just thinking of you know uh, running and because a lot of my friends and well wishes they, they just told me that this just a passion you know over to like you know you know yeah. you can just give up on this. so that's a time uh, pro cam uh, they gave me an opportunity in the sense they made a small video of mine and you know and uh, uh, that video was uh, hit you know uh, you wouldn't believe yeah. that you know that was like within 2 3 days there were a lot of you know uh, you know um, views and you know and a lot of people started interacting with me and a lot of people started telling me that i am an inspiration and you know they want to see me running so uh, after that no looking back and i'm just running and running and i don't know how many kilometers i ran after that so this is a kind of giving back to, uh, absolutely beautiful. yeah he feels all tell me i'm just giving back to them that's it like you said bindu that you you know you love competitive running and now you're a pacer do you miss that do you miss you know finishing on a podium or you know do you miss that kick yes of course i do but i'm doing this for tcs i will do anything for tcs <laughs> that's so lovely of you to say <laughs> okay so i mean uh, i'm sure our viewers who want to take up running will want to know how do how does one start like if if i were to start running tomorrow how do i take the first step See, I always say, like you know, you just look. Don't take an inspiration from someone, like you know, saying that you know, I want to run 10k or to, to, today I'll just go tomorrow I'll just go and start running 10k. Don't do that. You know, just see. If, all of us have a different strength. Okay, so just start with what you can. If you can walk, walk uh, 20 minutes or 30 minutes. Start like that. Uh, as we already discussed, just start. Take one step at a time. Like you know. see yeah. just looking at somebody and you okay bindu she runs you know kilometers and kilometers so that tomorrow i'm going to run you know 20 kilometers or 30 kilometers or 100 kilometers no that's not right you know you have to just see yourself you have to just know your your strength you know and uh, start slowly absolutely but uh, be consistent uh, that's something i said you yeah. have to be consistent yeah yeah so that's that's beautiful uh, bindu uh, does does anybody else in your family run have you inspired your family or your students in school to run family no one <laughs> okay i i don't inspire one okay so and school less of course a lot of my students you know they love me and uh, they they recently i had a run i ran 24 hours and you know i i where i fell down and and i hurt my uh, you know head and my shoulder so a lot of my students you know they were so sad and they wrote to me saying that uh, ma'am please come back we don't want to see you at this stage so uh, at this stage you know so that's something that you know uh, and i i always i feel i run for them you know i want to you know do things for them 
so the, the reason i ask you is because you know women in general there's there's this quote and quote stereotype that you know women can't run they don't have the stamina or you know they have the additional responsibility of taking care of a home so i mean uh, do did you face some of those stereotypes and you know did, did people come up to you and say that oh how are you managing uh, all of this together is yes, of course many times but you know what they some 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 of them they tell that you know uh, you 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 are too old to run also <laughs> oh my so God. Okay. so trust me uh, yeah so trust me i i i just tell them you know if somebody have a doubt or somebody feels that they cannot run just just turn around and look at me that's it so that, i mean that's that's a beautiful uh, you know uh, context and just to sort of understand you know last 3 years we we've, we've not had you know in person uh, running did you miss it and you know how did you sort of channelize did you prepare did you continue with your uh, prep how did you manage that i missed everything and i miss the people around you know it's 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 so much of fun like so much of positivity when you run with the, you know a, a morning run uh, for an for an example when i go out for a run you know i meet a lot of people and it's just such a beautiful feeling you know and i feel runners are you know they are really special and they are beautiful i can see why you're such a good pacer because you've been so inspiring and you know telling us to set our goals small and and then challenge yourself and then go ahead and do it and you know like you said just slay it and kill it when you're running and and it has been an absolute pleasure talking to you bindu thank you for thank you for speaking to us thank you so much thank you so much priyanka thank you so much as bindu order uh, running is not just about winning competitions it is also about inspirational stories of people who've beaten odds and come out as superheroes whether you're a 94 year old whether you have health conditions it doesn't matter when you run let's take a look at some of these inspirational stories that we found in tcs world 10k He is NS Dattatreya. He is 94 years old. I am his son. I am Murli Dattatreya. He started his running from 2019 January onwards. He is participating in many of the marathon runs. He does his 5k, 10k, and he has done even the 21k. Along with him, my son, my even my half partner, she also runs. and the three generations we are running together along with him it is majorly we have started our running because of him only he he showed his interest in running because of that we followed him and we are running along with him and his aim is to run up to the 100 years and to complete the 10k or the 21k even in that age health is well do exercises like running or walking and not to keep up your health have good food age is just a number i am happy to run among youngsters i am happy to run as long as i can we are eagerly waiting to run this event after a gap of 2 years and i am running the tcs 10k for the past 12 years and last year i did the virtual too this is my 14th year of event 10k yeah i ran uh, you know pro camp slam also twice along with my husband manmohan 
and uh, we uh, finished twice with uh, all eight uh, events with podium finish. Uh, so I'm very happy for that actually. Recently I started uh, running for the long distance, uh, 50k, 60k like that. Uh, I completed Wooty Ultra 60k during uh, April and uh, December we ran the most uh, very very hard race that is called as Hell Race in Jaisalmer, 50k in the desert. And planning to do Everest Marathon if everything goes well and if my health permits planning to do Everest Marathon and comrades. Just a message to everybody, especially to the ladies. After the COVID, I think everybody has, you know, experienced what is the health value. So keep just 40, 45 minutes for yourself to be fit and active. I have served the army for 35 years and retired in 2001. I took to running in 2006 when we went to visit my son at the USA and I was telling him that how can I run at 60 years? He said that age is no concern. You have been a sportsman all around so there shouldn't be a problem. That's how I started our running. And the first half marathon we did in USA, a place called Vermont, was a cross country run to 30 and I did the best timing of two hours and four seconds. Running has been my passion. Being an active sportsman, since I am not able to play sports as such. So running is the one thing which I can do on my own. So I still keep running, even though my distance are reduced from half marathon to 10K or uh, 5K. I'm not a fast runner anymore. But then I definitely run and walk, run and walk, continue to keep that running. And in me, I always feel that I can still run. But the doctors have advised because of my, I, I had an initial heart attack in the in very early ages. Now it is advisable not to run. When you are a child, you have been running. No one stopped you. Why should you stop now? It's nothing stops you. And thinking that I cannot run is a bad thinking. You have to, you have to think that I can run. You can do anything. It's a basically a mental game rather than a physical game. First, the mental thing you have to decide, yes, I am going to run, come what may. So once you decide that, nothing can stop you. Several times people ask me why I run. What is so great about running? Well, I could go on and on about the benefits of running, but I just want to say that I run to live and I live to run. Till there is a breath in my body, I'd like to be running. So till life and limb supports, I will keep running. And I would like this message to pass on to others who are still very skeptical about whether to start running. What will other people say? How can I wear those running clothes? You know, questions like that. Don't let them bother you. Do what your heart tells you to do. Do when there is still time to start something new. Once you start doing it and doing it the proper way, you will enjoy the joys of running and you'll feel free like a bird. That is your me time and you're entitled to it. This is one of the sports where you don't even need shoes. You just need the will to run. That's it. And you'll realize how wonderful this running journey can be for you. Those are the inspirational stories that we found amongst the participants. Now at TCS, we build on belief and it is our belief to lead with example. Our very own TCS associates have been leading the way for runners for years now. Our ground reporter Kimberly is with a TCSer who ran from Bengaluru to Mysore in 25 hours. And guess who was his inspiration for the run? It was none other than TCS chairperson N. Chandra Shekharan. Let's li listen into the fascinating story of Vinod Sivaraman. How many of you know of people who take vacations 
just to achieve their fitness goals well i didn't and today i have met somebody um here's mr vinod uh, one of our very own from pcs who has done something that i wouldn't imagine and I'm, it's a pleasure to meet you it's a pleasure to meet you too i couldn't help but notice um you're not wearing footwear and you've just come i mean you finished with a run tell me a little bit more about this well i think barefoot uh, is a feeling that is nothing like anything any of the shoes i've tried to shoes i started running with shoes but uh, from the last about 3 years i have slowly moved to minimal footwear to being fully barefoot gives me a lot of uh, sensory input and it kind of helps me i found that i run better and my uh, form and posture is better so i kind of have, uh, decided to be barefoot unless there is a terrain is really bad rocky or you know i need tactical shoes to negotiate the terrain i like to go barefoot that's so. lovely which leads me to the next question what made you start running and what like how did you just begin Uh, I'm fairly, I'd say I've been running from five year, five to seven years now. My first 10k was this uh, TCS 10k event, 2015. A small uh, story to it. I've always wanted to run. I mean, I had in my uh, bucket list that I should run a marathon before I'm 40. And you know, so that was a goal, but I never got to it. I've been with TCS for about uh, 10 plus years now. And although I've read and heard about TCS, uh, the Fit for Life initiative. I never actually participated in it until let's say 2015. Uh, I wanted to do a 10k. I've been talking to my brother that we have to run, and we always start thought between the uh, the major run, which was to be the shorter version of the 5k run, or and a 10k, or the 10k. We kept debating, and finally, when he moved abroad for work in 2014, 2015, I decided to run, irrespective of whatever it is. I was not trained. I was not I said I'm going to register. So the first announcement I saw that it is open. I just registered. I didn't know. I didn't have a plan. I didn't have anything. And I started training on my own in 2015. And uh, I chanced upon the TCS uh, Fit for Life Striders group here in Kebun Park. That is the biggest uh, turning point in my life. Having to you know join this uh, group of uh, runners here, the team came here to the park uh, two weeks out to the 2015 10K race. on here there was a lot of uh, method to the way the running was being taken up right being taught to people about the you know pre work that you do in terms of stretching the post work in terms of the cool down the strengthening exercises really felt that it made a huge difference in terms of how i was feeling after running before and after so i started becoming uh, regular all bit over the next two years uh, on and off there was a little bit of laziness but then slowly i started seeing the benefits of run translating into my work and my personal life i could see that i was getting a little more organized i was uh, able to accomplish things that were pending on my list i could go uh, break them down into detailed plans like a running plan and then go after them not worrying about the end goal just being fully aware of what you need to do for that day with that session if you can accomplish then the plan definitely works out and that made me a fan of running and i said right now as it sits like 7 seven, seven years i plan my life around running made be work made be my personal vacations and anything that i do i think about how can i make sure that i don't miss my four sessions in a week uh the tuesdays thursdays and saturday sunday sessions and then let's do it so even if it is work then you got to you have a early meeting you try to finish it up and then i that i may not come to work here Uh, run, run here, finish it up, and then get to work. Vacation means we find places or routes where you can run, right? You can take yep. the family, but then just figure it out. So that's how it's been. That's pretty interesting, though. I would never equate um, having I mean, running to um, your work and you know how to manage work. Then when I heard you, it does sound like a project management skill that you really need to have. That's that's very interesting. Uh, what motivates you to run? who rather motivated you and how did you begin what made you want to do this i think uh, our group ceo and chandra he's been the biggest inspiration that i would say for running when i started when he when he used to talk about the fit for life initiative and they were when he was the ceo of our company and he used to talk about it i used to get drawn to it but then i did not actually jump in and you know take the full plunge of probably preparing for a marathon that that changed when i was on my on site assignment in 
one day morning and I woke up in our WhatsApp group, I could see that Chandra had finished the London Marathon. It just uh, blew my mind saying a person who's so busy, looking after, has so much responsibilities, he can take the time out to go after some personal goals and achieve it in the manner he's done it. It just changed my mind. That day I did my longest run ever without even training. I think I, I used to be running a half until that point. I ran a 31 kilometer run on that day. And that's when I decided I'm going to go after a marathon. Thank you, Vinod, for leading with example. Now, if you're a runner, you know the importance of preparation, be it nutrition, apparel, or accessories. At TCS World 10K Expo, you will get all of these and more. Here to give us more on the Expo is our on-ground reporter, Avi Das. Marathons are exciting and there's just no doubt about it. But the TCS World 10K, which takes place this Sunday, is just not about running. So here we are at the TCS World 10K Expo, which is taking place for five days. And this Expo is sure to fulfill all your needs that you require for the Sunday's run. From anything that you need from nutritional supplements to sportswear to even you know preparing yourself for a virtual run through the TCS Sprint Win, I am sure you will enjoy it all here. How many of you know of people who take vacations just to achieve their fitness goals? Well, I didn't, and today I have met somebody. Um, here is Mr. Vinod, uh, one of our very own from TCS, who has done something that I wouldn't imagine. And I'm, it's a pleasure to meet you. A pleasure to meet you too. I couldn't help but notice um, you're not wearing footwear and you've just come, I mean, you finished with a run. Tell me a little bit more about this. Thank you so much, Kimberly, for that report. Now, you know, why we talk about the 10K and marathons, TCS World 10K also has a category called Maja Run, a category where a new runner can test their endurance and potential for future long distance runs. Let's go back to Kimberly, who is with Varsha Casey. Over to you, Kimberly. Hi, everyone. Today we have Varsha Casey, our very own TCSer, who will be participating in the Maja Run. Hi, Varsha. Nice to meet you. Hi, Kimberly. Yes, please. Tell me a little bit about um, what's motivated you to come here because I see you're with your group of people who are also TCSs from Fit for Life. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so uh, I just uh, I joined TCS in 2017. It's been almost four and a half years in TCS. In 2018, I got to know about TCS Yoga Council and TCS Fit for Life. So I had been to many yoga sessions as well. So then in 2019, I have joined for TCS World 10K Marathon. So first time I have registered and that was like so enthusiasm. Lot of people, lot of members from many corporate companies, they were running. That unity I saw, that enthusiasm and that flash mob enjoyment and of course, this uh, charity where we are uh, funding for uh, many uh, NGOs or many or co corporate reasons, right? There are noble causes. So that motivated me a lot to join this run. And this Striders Gang, so it's been like one year with them. So every day it's a great learning from my coach. Uh, it's, inspire me, it's inspiring me to do a lot more things. Yeah. That's lovely to hear because uh, I know Fit for Life has impacted so many people's yes, lives. Yes, yeah. And how has it impacted you? <clears throat> so, yeah. So, let me tell you something. Uh, first of all, I love running. Okay. So, I started this running in, as I said, in, in 2019. Okay. So, uh, it's like a, uh, I actually basically had my knee injury. So uh, that was a limitation where I could not, uh, I mean, uh, I cannot run or I had so many misconceptions. Then I sp I got a suggestion from physicians that, that with the proper uh, care and all, we can plan something. So then I started now, uh, uh, this is my, uh, tomorrow which I'm running is my sixth corporate run. So I had completed two times 10K and one time ultra confidence run, which is 35K. And one time we had a corporate challenge that is 10K. So uh, every Every time it's like if you run, you are a runner. It doesn't matter how fast or how far. So just challenge your limits and go beyond that. Never give up. So your knee injury did not only really bring, I mean, it didn't stop you from anything. No, no, no. Yes, of Can course. I safely assume that it's not only your physical well being that's been impacted, but also your mental well being. And now, is it much better for you? Do you feel better? Yeah, of course. Uh, see, I work for CSR. Like, I am leading corporate social responsibility for Bangalore region. 
so i will have lot of things like uh, uh, every uh, it's not like not only like in a ground reality we'll have many things to face many challenges and to manage all the people so here the yoga matters a lot to improve my patience and to give that energy t energy and it's a stress buster for me so i just love this that's that's lovely um a lot of people especially women are going to be watching you tomorrow and a lot of women like me are going to be impacted on how you ran and you're going to be beating your own best yeah um is there a message you like to give them uh yeah there is a message so see every teacher once was a student every winner once was a loser and every expert once was a beginner everyone crossed the bridge called learning and i truly believe in the concept of 3 l's lifelong learning so just do whatever you love to do and never give up on something which you really love to do that's the message just never give up for anything thank you thank you kimberly and varsha i think the bridge of learning is is a learning for my, uh, for me personally Uh, now ahead of race day some of our past champions and elite athletes from around the world share their journeys and experiences during the beyond the finish line event avikas brings us the key takeaways from this year's beyond the finish line hello we are at beyond the finish line one of the many events uh, leading up to the tcs world 10k on sunday we had about four indian elite athletes here this evening uh, and some of them not from not so popular sports in india of course Many of you may have heard about Sharad Kamal, who is the popular table tennis player. But what about Namita Chandel, who is into canoeing, or uh, Sumit Antil, who is a Paralympic javelin thrower, or even C. S. Santosh, who is an off-road endurance motorcycle racer? Well, all of them talked about their struggles, their journeys, and how they sort of ascended the peak. But probably, I think. that the takeaway of this evening was the story of cs santosh keeping in mind that he had a horrific accident in one of the championship events in dakar in senegal a couple of years back he was into depression and he was already also into coma for almost a couple of months and one of the takeaway quotes that i can say what he said from this event was that life is not about just touching the finish line but a journey towards it beautiful beautiful thank you avik now while we are talking about running and being in shape do not forget the ritual of carb loading before the race spaghetti macaroni if you silly well if you are a regular at the tcs world 10k you would know what i'm talking about exactly our pasta cookout is back in how avik gets us a peek into our popular event straight from bengaluru Last night we were at the Beyond the Finish Line event and today we are here at the Pasta Cookout session. Now this session has had a rich history of the TCS World 10K Bengaluru. It's been running for the last 10 years and this time it was no different. It completed the 11th session this time. There were about 14 participants who got some rich and delicious pasta. Of course they were widely cheered and encouraged by the audience out there. And well, it was so tasty that there's just nothing left for me on the plate now. Thanks a week and I'm sorry you couldn't get your hands on some delicious pasta. Well folks, we are at the end of our show. I hope we have lived up to our promise and given you a glimpse into the TCS World 10K. We hope to see you at the run on Sunday. If you're not in Bengaluru and want to track the race, stay tuned. We'll bring you live updates. Until then, this is your host Priyanka Sahu signing off. <laughs>